discussed it with me. Okay, we'd like to hear about it. Okay, well, it was. It started about, I would say around 12.30, and I thought, first of all, it was a big star or a helicopter. First, it, it turned like it might have been an airplane or something going into our airport here at Arlington, but then it stopped dead in the sky, and it came closer to us. Now, we live on the hill uh, in Arlington, and there's a valley below us, which out there about three miles is, is a little um, intersection called Island Crossing. And so it was really probably pretty well directly over Island Crossing, which is about three miles away. Well, we have a high-powered uh, telescope, and so I sighted it in, and as I was looking at it, it was coming closer to me, and that, that's when I, you know, woke everybody up. I was really excited, and I got close enough to me where we could see the bottom of the ship turning. You know, you could see the reflection of the lights that were in the center of the of the sphere. Uh, they were shining on the bottom of the ship, and you could see it actually making the revolution. Okay. And first what it did is um, the, the lights, the assembly of lights, first of all, would turn a brilliant red, then they would go to a brilliant green, and then they would go to a, a beautiful gold color, and they would alternate like that. And then, after I saw that one, there was a smaller one that was below it. I can't give you feet. I, uh, it was quite a, quite a distance away, you know, but we could see it. And it was doing the same thing. And we sighted that one in also. It seemed to be, um, although they were about the same distance away, the, uh, the, the, the first one that we saw was higher in the air, quite a bit higher than the other one. And then they began to, like, communicate like um, they would play with one another. In other words, they'd switch positions, you know, and they would make like 90 degree angles and, you know, and, and dart across the sky at a super high rate of speed. And then about after, oh, I'd say around two and a half hours, the smaller ship uh, left, and it left pretty ab abruptly. And then the larger ship, um, well, the last sighting we saw, but it, it was moving very, very slow, and it came down an elevation of probably about 500 feet, something like that. And then it just sort of very, very slowly just drifted off into the sunset. It took about, oh, I don't know, um, I would say probably two hours to disappear. So we saw the, the bigger ship, we saw it for, for almost four hours. Now, the first one was the biggest one, right? Uh-huh. Okay. And how... Uh, now, as this thing approached you, uh -huh. which direction was it approaching from? It would be coming, it would be coming from, the, uh, from the west to the east. Okay. Now, do you feel that it got quite close? Um, I would say um, probably within less than a mile from our house. Okay. Now, the only thing that you could see on this was the lights? The light assembly, and then it got close enough with the, you know, with the telescope that we could see the reflection of the bottom of the ship making its revolution. Okay, you feel that this reflection uh, was coming from the lights on the ship? Yeah, uh, so that's what it looked like to us. Okay, but could you see a definite outline to this object? Yeah, you could. It got, it got close enough in the telescope, not, not with the naked eye, but in the telescope, that you could actually see that there was more like a, it wasn't really, it was a very flat type thing, really, but um, there was a definite dome on the top and on the bottom. Okay. I mean, it wasn't just a flat line, you know. I mean, there was a little bit of curvature. You could also tell, too, with the assembly, that the light assembly that went around the center of it, that it started to turn, you know. I mean, it, uh, to look like that it was round. I mean, we're, I can't say for positive that it was round, but it looked like to us that it was round and very, very flat. Okay. Now, would that the thinnest part be shaped somewhat like a lens? Well, let's see. How can I explain it? Um... It's like if you take two um, saucers, you know, little cup and saucers, right. and you tip them upside down to each other. Rim to rim? Rim to rim. Okay. That's what it looked like. And then the dome on top and the dome on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And they were, the, the, like the top of the ship really didn't look to me like it was any um, any higher than the bottom of the ship. Uh -huh. You know, it just looked like it was just equal. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I know this is a difficult question. Can you compare that thing in size with anything? Well, or if you were holding a ruler up at arm's length, could you determine its width? Well, I do, uh, let's see, golly, it would probably have been at the closest point, maybe uh, a quarter of an inch. Okay. Uh, you know, at when I, through the that was the close of the biggest ship, the right. closest point. And then the furthest point away, of course, it was, you know, a minute 
amount of level or uh, measure. It was just really tiny. But, of course, in the telescope, then, it was it was a lot larger, of course. Okay, now, scoping in on these other two objects, did you get any good look at those, or was it just the lighted type No, thing? well, they, what, the, uh, now, the smaller, see, there were only two of them now. There was the larger ship, the one that I first had seen. Right. Okay, and then the smaller one. Okay, but the reason I say it's smaller is because maybe it was further away in distance. Uh, but it looked to me as though it were smaller because they seemed to be the same distance away, but it could have been further, you know, further to the west. Right. And then I would have, you know, assume, and also um, I didn't have my glasses on. I wear glasses. My eyes aren't, you know, really all that bad, but I didn't have my glasses on. And looking at uh, with my naked eye, um, it looked to me as though they were the same distance away, but this one seemed smaller, and it had the same, um, they had the same lighting. In other words, they would turn the... The, the, the red and then the green and then the gold the the assembly did it never got close enough to us to actually see right. the, the revolutions turning okay and you observed both of these objects on the move moving across the sky doing these fair uh, uh-huh. and so did as i have a 16 year old daughter my husband was home an 11 year old son and a seven year old boy and we all witnessed it okay but how long did this go on nearly four hours wow it was just amazing. In fact, we all, in fact, well, my husband finally went off to bed because, you know, we got to where we just couldn't look at it anymore, you know. And it wasn't, they weren't doing anything after the first couple of hours. They weren't doing anything really fantastic. They would, you know, they would move every so often. And then they would, you know, just stay in their position for quite a long time. And it was hard to keep looking at it, um, you know, because then you keep thinking, well, it, is it moving and it's really not moving or whatever. And so finally, he went off to bed, and my daughter went off to bed, but my boys and I sat up and watched the, the, the bigger ship, which was the last one to leave until it had disappeared. And which direction did it disappear? Into, into the west. <clears throat> you actually saw this thing move away? Yes. Okay. Definitely. It went down in elevation about 500 feet, and then it went off into the west. Okay. Now, in, in their movements in the sky, was it, uh, did these movements carry or cover quite a distance? Um... It's really hard to say. Probably, yeah, they they did. Maybe a quarter of a mile, half a mile. At you know, when they would move, they would dart like. I see. Okay. In other words, there was no question in your mind that they were moving around in the no, sky. No, absolutely okay. none. In okay. fact, I wanted to be sure of myself, so you know, I asked others, and then they, you know, they they thought too. Okay. Did they maintain about the same color patterns all through this sighting? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Okay. It, it kind of gave me the feeling, you know, with seeing them, you know, lit up like that. It kind of gave me the feeling maybe they might, you know, be approaching the want to land or something because it seemed like, you know, the way when you when you know like at night when you see the airplanes coming in for landing and they have all these lights on them and you know they flash all this stuff. Well, this is what I kind of was thinking, and I we, in fact I was kind of hoping they would land, <laughs> but they didn't. Okay. They never never disappeared from the skyline. And we live on a cliff, and then there's really high trees that um, are below our cliff that come up. But it was they were pretty high up in the air because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to see them. Okay. We would have really wanted to take a picture of them, but we didn't have a camera that we felt, you know, that would be acceptable for a picture. Right. We just have, you know, inexpensive instamatics, that kind of thing. Okay. And where did you get our number? Oh, my sister gave it to me because she had been talking about... Um, your organization, and so I thought, well, who should I call? And then I happened to remember that she had mentioned, um, you know, your organization, so I called her this morning for the phone oh, number. Great. I've never been involved in anything like this before. I, I, I thought that I've seen some several times, but never, you know, never was really sure. But this, there is absolutely no doubt in my mind. Okay. What was your belief in relation to UFOs before this? Um, I really, I really was. Uh, pretty well convinced um but you know you really have to see it with your own eyes All right okay well we sure appreciate this report and if we come up with any information on this why we'll get back to you and let you know yeah i'd really be interested if anybody else had seen it you know because then uh, you know i would just um i'd like to talk to them about it and see where they you know from the point that they were at what they saw right so okay well i appreciate your time thanks again thank you Bye. bye-bye